In this video, I wanted to take my Aldi tile cutter and see if I could have some fun turning it into a camera slider. Then I've taken this 3D bullet and let's see if we can use that as a spinning top to have some fun with our cat Hamish. So we'll see if he likes playing with that. Hello Daisy, do you want to have some fun with the camera too? Yes? And then we'll, we'll take some pictures of Daisy using the camera slider as well. So this is the base plate that I've printed out for the top of the sliding tile saw and I've got one of these adjustable arms off of eBay and all I'm going to do is take off the square nut section and that's going to fit in there so it's just a bit of a tight squeeze, I want it to be snug so I'm just going to file that down a little bit. That's good. Now that that's in, I should be able to connect up. So that bottom one should tighten that in. So that should now give me the ability to mount cameras on top of here at different angles. I want to shorten down this bolt a little bit so that it fits into this hole without touching the bar. So I'm just going to put that onto the end of that just so I can re-thread the thread at the end once it's cut. Just give that a little bit of a fail. That's the sharp edges off. The bolt goes in here, the hole wasn't quite big enough, so I'm just going to tap that out a little bit bigger. Oh, that should, that's a bit better. So the next thing to do is to put some nuts in the bottom of these brackets. Okay, first part done. I can't get the nut on that screw, so I'm just going to measure how many threads per inch. Cool. So the next thing to do is to fit the platform on top. 